Hi, welcome back to Circuits with Angel. Today, we will be making a 3D model of a movable fish. It's pretty popular with my sisters and their friends, so I wanted to make a video on it. This is what it looks like when it's finished. We are just using the parts that Tinkerkid provides in their program. First, we take out a sphere and we stretch it out to 61 millimeters and 30 millimeters. Keep it at the same height. Then we take a roof shape and make it 6 millimeters wide. and we rotate it to 90 degrees. Then we take this and make it 28.3 millimeters. Just keep them separate for now. Then we take a box and stretch it to 40 millimeters. and make it six millimeters wide and six millimeters tall. We then move it to a height of 16 millimeters and move it onto the body of the fish until it looks proper. Then to make it rounded, we move this radius slider to about seven. We then select our rounded cube and copy and paste it. We then move it down to the floor again. And shrink the size down to 22 millimeters long. After that, we rotate it 11 degrees to the left and then move it onto the fish. Now we move on to the eyes. We take a sphere and we make it 5 millimeters in height and 5 millimeters wide on both sides. And move it up 11 millimeters. We then move it into the fish until it sticks out a little bit. After that, copy and paste the sphere and move it over to the other side of the fish. Try to line it up with the body. Think about how a fish's eyes look on the body when positioning it. Make sure that they are sticking out the same amount or else it will look weird. Now we put in the connectors on the tail and body. We go to hardware and take out this ball. It looks teal. We then turned it 90 degrees to the right, then adjust it so the other side of the ball disappears into the fish. We have one part done, and now we move on to the tail. We then take out the socket, and we put the tailpiece in the center of the back. I made this design in the first place because I saw how popular how to make a 3D cat video was. And I thought, wow, maybe I should make another one of these. If you have any ideas or requests of 3D designs you would like me to make, leave a comment or email me at info at circuitswithangel.com. And in closing, if you liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.